walking with the Holy Ghost as God and speaking in agreement with Him is a lifestyle. It's a life of living. It's the highest form of living. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrock. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in who the living, God. the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy is this true mm -hmm. yes. is there a living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy yes. from the look on some people's faces you'd think that wasn't true but it is true mm -hmm. say it is true, it is true. there is a living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy say all things to enjoy, all things to enjoy. those are some words that would never cross the lips of a lot of people it should cross your lips daily say I worship, I worship the, living the living God who gives me yes. richly yes. all things all to enjoy. enjoy now is it okay to say that yes. would it be okay to say that more than once yes. would it be able would it be okay to say that all day long yes. is it okay to worship the living God yes. Yes. is it okay for him to give you richly all things to enjoy yes. Yes. Well, if this is true, and we said that it is, that there is a living God, and according to his word, which he does not lie, cannot lie, Amen. he said he gives us richly all things to enjoy, then knowing him, the living God, and walking with him, the living God, would do that. Is this too difficult? No. Knowing the living God and walking with the living God would do that what him giving you richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. say him giving me, him giving me richly, richly all things, all things to, enjoy. to enjoy and he specifically was talking about those who are rich in this world so don't go all oh, that's just richly all spiritual things and piety to enjoy he was specifically addressing those that are rich in this world are you here yeah. so knowing him and walking with him must lead to that or that shouldn't be in here mm -hmm. if I know the Living God and walk with the Living God it would lead to that him giving me richly all things to enjoy deal with it yep. that's a life my friend walking with the Living God knowing the Living God say it's a life and obviously a lifestyle but it is a life it is a way to live it's a way you have to choose to live you can choose to live knowing and walking with the Holy Ghost or the Living God I'll show you in a minute walking with the Living God and him richly providing you and giving you richly all things to enjoy richly 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 it was like one of those records that kept going that's a good place for it to go over and over isn't it yes. well he is a living God am I reading out of the Bible yes. he's a living God means he's alive mm -hmm. and he knows how to live I mean it's in his name mm -hmm. he's a living God man he knows how to live that's what they'll say about you when you walk with him yeah. she knows how to live he knows how to live why because I'm walking with the living God he knows how to live and he lives well you suppose he know he knows how to live in health you suppose he knows how to live in wealth 
you suppose he knows how to live free from all kinds of stupid stuff he knows how to do what he needs to do to not be around that and guess where he is living and making himself alive is in you yeah. well most don't know what I just said and they don't know who the Living God is they may think they do but they don't because soon as you start putting a name on who the Living God is they start to tilt they choke they don't get it and it's too bad too bad for them and they certainly don't worship him say I worship the Living God, I worship the living God. and I know how to live you can't know how to live without worshiping the living God because he's the one who knows how to live the living God then he knows how to live and it's only by our association and walking with him that we know how to live yes. really live really live well he would say to you that I am the living God and I know how to live well some will hear my words tonight and if my words resolve on the inside of you then you're called to go here I know a lot of people will go for a little while and then I'll say something imagine that I'll say something that they don't like and then they're just gone I've been around a while <laughs> but if the words I'm saying reside and and make a resonance on the inside of you then you're supposed to go here that I'm talking about tonight it's a principle if you can hear the words that I'm saying then you're part of these sheep and this is where you're supposed to go yes. say this is where I'm supposed to go they resonate on the inside of you you go yes that's for me well my voice by the Holy Ghost will take you in well listen the Living God knows how to live right there that should have said that's for me that's what I want the Living God knows how to live and that should just go off on the inside of you you are yes the Living God he knows how to live I want that mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. well I happen to know who he is and I worship him now if you're gonna walk with the Living God and worship the Living God say I worship the Living God you're gonna to need to know who he is right first Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 know you not you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God or the Spirit God literally dwells in you Amen. you are the temple of God and the Spirit God dwells in you first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost the other verse just said your body is the temple of God here it says your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost he's further describing who that God is mm -hmm. and you are not your own for you're bought with a price therefore glorify say glorify, glorify. God in your body who's the God in your body Holy the Holy Ghost is it okay to glorify him yes. one way you glorify him is to worship him so first it said you're the temple of the Spirit of God the Spirit of God dwells in you or the Spirit of God and then it says you're what you're the temple of the Holy Ghost glorify God in your body talking about the Holy Ghost being God and to glorify him second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 16 what agreement has the temple of God with idols for you are the temple of the Living God the first verse we read said that you're the temple of the Spirit of God or the Spirit God yeah. the second verse we read said you're the temple of the Holy Ghost who is God glorify him this verse says you're the temple of the living God 
as God has said I will dwell in them and walk in them dwell means to live mm -hmm. walk means to walk mm -hmm. who's dwelling in you who's living in you who's walking in you Holy Ghost living God that was my point the Holy Ghost is the living God say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Is, is the living God well I'm singing the praises of this specific life this specific kind of lifestyle where you are a dwelling of the Holy Ghost and he dwells with you say dwells with me, dwells with me. and you walk with him and you're glorifying him and where's this all happening in heaven when you die it's happening here and now so I'm singing the praises of this life this lifestyle walking with the Holy Ghost as God which includes worshiping him you should worship God he is the living God should you worship the living God yes. yeah so walking with the Holy Ghost as God and speaking in agreement with him and his word is a lifestyle it's a life of living it's the highest form of living did you hear that now you need to learn who he is you need to worship him and you need to speak in agreement with his word and do it enough until you see results what would the results be living God giving you richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. this is a life that opens up to you here with the ear of your spirit this is a life that opens up to you say it opens up to me it opens up to you when you do this when you come to this door and you go through it this life opens up to you a life that wasn't there before if you weren't doing it does that make sense yes. most know nothing about this they've not gone far enough many would come up to the door and just say no I'm not willing to go through there but this is a life that opens up to you and it begins with worshiping the Holy Ghost as God it changes you worshiping the Holy Ghost changes you changes your thinking about who the Holy Ghost is because up till now you just thought he was an anointing or some kind of wind or some kind of force and not a person not God certainly not God worshiping him as God changes you and increases your bandwidth in how you can receive from him the living God listen the living God the one who lives the one who you can live with and lives with you takes you into that great life his life his lifestyle now the results aren't immediately apparent in anything with the Word of God you have to continue but as you worship him the results do come they begin to show up not always immediately visible with outward observation but they go off on the inside of you why would they go off on the inside of you because that's where he is and that's where his life is yes. right but as you worship him and speak in agreement with his word you're changed into what he is you're changed into a rich person and then the riches begin to appear all around you say that I'm changed, I'm changed. Into, a person, into a rich person and then riches, and then riches begin to appear all around, all around me riches follow you become a healed person and then healing begins to appear in your physical body Amen. and all around you say I become a healed person, become a healed person. And, healing and healing begins to appear, to appear in my physical body, my physical body 
and all around me your youth becomes renewed we're talking about knowing the living God and worship is a big part of knowing him if you know him as God you will worship him Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says can two walk together except they be agreed remember he says he's gonna walk with you he's gonna live with you dwell with you and walk with you how can two walk together two that be take two. two that would be the Holy Ghost and you he said two how can two walk together Holy Ghost you Holy Ghost you you're the temple of the Holy Ghost how can two walk together except they be agreed do you agree that he is God yes. you're gonna have a problem walking with the Holy Ghost as God if you don't agree that he's God worshiping him will cause you to agree with him being God yes. and then agree literally means to say the same thing say I agree well who are you agreeing with? you're agreeing with him and you're saying that you agree with him you're saying has to agree with him you're gonna walk with him by acknowledging him as God and worshiping him which opens up doors to you I'm telling you and then saying the same thing talking about living a life his kind of life the best kind of life living living God Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings if I'm attending to his word and inclining my ear to his sayings the sayings have to be said for them to be heard mm -hmm. let them my sayings my words that were said say my words that were said, my words that were said. let them my words that were said not depart from thine eyes keep them in the midst of thine heart for they are life to those that find them and health or healing or medicine to all their flesh what's healing medicine and health to all their flesh his words that are said they are life his words said are life to those so we're talking about walking with the living God he says his words are life his words are life we're walking with him by saying the same thing mm -hmm. he's showing us how to walk in that life mm -hmm. how are we gonna walk in that life it will be a life of saying his words mm -hmm my sayings they are life say his sayings, his sayings are, life. are life well this is the life this is the living worshiping the Holy Ghost and walking with him by speaking his words literally the best life ever the best life possible is down this path are you seeing this worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him by saying words specifically his words why would his sayings be life because he's the living God and he knows how to live so would there be life in these words the saying of the words is where the life is right say the saying of his words, of his words is, where the life is. is where the life is and we're walking with the living God is this starting to make sense mm -hmm. Psalms chapter 103 bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits forget not all of them but don't forget any of them mm -hmm. if you don't forget any of his benefits you're living the life you're living the best life possible yes. 
because all of his benefits are in him and he's the living God and he knows how to live he's trying to get you his benefits yes. Lord God bless the Lord all my soul forget not all his benefits who forgives all thine iniquities is that a good benefit who heals two of thy diseases and then your quotas up all so are you telling me that if I walk with the living God and isn't that knowing how to live living without sickness or disease say living, living. Without, without sickness, sickness. Or, disease. or disease any sickness or disease he's the living God Amen. forget not this is a benefit of walking with him it's how you live the greatest life I've seen rich people before who are sick with something they would have given all their money to get rid of that sickness we don't have to be without any of these benefits we're forgiven of our sins we're healed of all of our diseases and it goes it redeems your life from destructions crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies and renews your youth who does this the living God the Holy Ghost are you saying that if I can walk with the living God these benefits will begin to manifest in my life that's exactly what I'm saying but you're gonna to have to learn how to walk with him and we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word and that's where the life is in the saying of his word See, I walk with the living God and I worship a living God who heals all my diseases forgives all my sins redeems my life from destructions and renews my youth and gives me all things richly 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 to enjoy who wouldn't do this second mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 for all the promises of God in him are yes meaning if there's a promise of God in him the living God it's yes already mm -hmm. he's already said yes to it then it says and amen amen means we say so be it mm -hmm. unto the glory of God by us by us what by us receiving that promise and walking in it glorify God in your body it glorifies God the Holy Ghost who's in you when you walk in that promise mm -hmm. what they're his promises you're walking in agreement with him you should tell your body to get in agreement with him you should tell your finances to get in agreement with him he's a wealthy God he's a healthy God he's a youth renewed God are you here this is the life this is living I'm telling you this is living knowing the Holy Ghost the living God and walking with him that is living it's you and the Holy Ghost and his word 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 Holy Ghost is the living God his word is life to those that find it you in the Holy Ghost in the word that's the life that's the living and that's enough for me when he says richly all things to enjoy he didn't say richly some things he said richly all things with the living God to enjoy now I got news for you it's you and the Holy Ghost and the word in the earth right now Jesus isn't in the earth right now he's in heaven at the father's right hand Jesus isn't going to do anything for you he's not gonna come down and do anything for you he doesn't need to mm -hmm. he did everything he was gonna do said it's finished mm -hmm. went and sat down yeah. and then he sent the Holy Ghost into the earth it's you and the Holy Ghost and the word that's the life you live mm -hmm. 
and that shakes people when I say that because like wait 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 what's going on here they haven't come to the reality that God the Holy Ghost the living God is the one in the earth with them that they're walking with mm -hmm. they have some kind of religious thing going on and they're noggin mm -hmm. Romans chapter 10 let's look at verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith speaks mm -hmm. right the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise say not this who shall ascend into heaven that is to bring Christ down from above so he can do something for me he's not gonna do it he's not coming back to do anything for you what saith it the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach why is that because the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him mm -hmm. you need to cross this bridge you need to cross the bridge that Jesus is not here but he sent the Holy Ghost and when you begin to worship listen when you begin to worship the Holy Ghost as God he begins to do a change in you he flips a switch in you where you realize it's you and him and his word in the earth and there's nothing that you can't do all of his things become available to you you start to realize you can say I worship you Holy Ghost only and when you use the word only it begins to it's like crossing the Rubicon there's no way back because he's the only one in the earth and the wealth of the Holy Ghost is opened to you his life his way his ability and his word becomes clear you see it you know it say I see it I, see it. I know it I know. I'm not the same person I was before I've been changed by worshiping the Holy Ghost I live in a different reality than I lived in before it's not complicated if you get your doctrine straight most people don't have their doctrine straight the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and he's the one you walk with and when you fulfill all of his promises yes and amen then Jesus the real Jesus will return that's who you are that's where you're at get it straight how many people don't have that straight I would say most people don't have it straight my question is to many people what are you saved into most people are saved into a religious belief but the reality is you're saved into this life that I'm talking about walking with the Living God the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word and having his promises all of them all of them all of them every one of them come to pass Amen. that's the life that's what you got saved into I thought I was saved to die and go to heaven and then you would die and go to heaven but your death would come an awful lot later because you're healed and your youth is renewed and you're wealthy because right. you're walking with him he's the living God he knows how to live mm -hmm. are you here are you mad at me we're saved into a lifetime and a lifestyle of worshiping the living God the Holy Ghost and walking with him in the earth by speaking in agreement in agreement with his words all his promises coming to pass yes and amen this is different than what I was brought up into here's an example Holy Ghost I worship you I worship you Holy Ghost you are God in the earth today ha ha I worship you you're the Living God you give me richly all things to enjoy the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I worship you Holy Ghost 
living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I will go about my day saying living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I worship you Holy Ghost guess what I am I'm accurate I'm living the life that I'm supposed to be living in this day I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper and I walk with him in the earth by speaking in agreement with his words and I see blessing after blessing after promise after promise begin manifesting in me on me and around me and as I worship him and speak in agreement with his word but especially worshiping him my bandwidth to receive him as God increases and I'm changed into that let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people heard these words that you were saying to them this evening and if they begin to obey says the Spirit of the Lord things will change quickly don't be distraught don't be dismayed by things that seem to come against you keep going I've got it all under control and the breakthrough shall happen and the new way shall present itself and you will walk into it a new person in a new way greatness is upon you so live it live the life with the Holy Ghost be faithful in worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen, amen. glory to God if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you I thank you that you are the living God and you know how to live and you're teaching me how to live how to prosper how to be in health how to have my youth renewed and to have living riches and abundance in every area of my life in Jesus name Amen God in the earth.